Hey everybody, Tag, Life Done Free. Hey, I thought today I'd do another uh, tool review to one of my favorite tools. So today I'm going to review the M18 Fuel rear handled 7 and a quarter inch circular saw. Uh, it's an 18 volt uh, battery powered rear handled saw. Uh, we used to, in my old days, we used to refer to them as worm drives. I know it's not technically a worm drive, but uh, hard to get it out of my lingo. So I'll just, I just refer to it as a worm drive saw, but Really, it's about the rear handle and where it places, in my opinion, your eye and how it makes it easy to cut. But let's just talk a little bit about uh, the saw itself. So it uses a standard seven and a quarter inch blade. This is a super common blade, will be anywhere. Um, gives you 15 amps of uh, power. So it's actually faster than a quarter, uh, a corded saw. Um, one battery, you know, if you get the big battery there, it's up to 570 cuts. I, I often work all day, you know, without having to uh, change the battery out. Uh, got a little LED light on it. Um, you know, magnesium shoes, guards, uh, needs no oil, uh, etc. But uh, for me, because I'm out on the homestead, I can take it with me anywhere we go. Um, but, um, you know, I never thought in a million years that I'd get talked out of a corded saw. You know, I just never thought a battery powered saw would do it. But boy, was I surprised. So anyway, let's go check out the saw a little bit and uh, we'll see what you think. Come on. Hey everybody, Tag Life Done Free. Hey, uh, I'm out here in the wood shop and uh, I thought I'd do a really quick uh, review of uh, one of my newer uh, most favorite tools, but I got to kind of give you a little bit of history first. So I'm going to review a saw today, not this one. This is a skill worm drive saw. Um, I really like the worm drive saws because of the length of them and how it lets you see the blade and I'll show you that. But this traditionally is what we were forced to use. Um, because it was just what was out there. So as time went on, you know, they started to come out with some battery powered saws. This is a uh, traditional type saw. This is a rigid 18 volt. I've had this saw about 20 years and uh, works great, but it's not a worm drive. So then a little later, Milwaukee came out with an 18 volt I don't really think that this is what they call worm drive, um, but uh, it's like a worm drive saw. And um, as I mentioned before, I'm not going to review anything I haven't had for a while. So I've had this saw about a year. Um, some really cool features about it. I like this hook here. It allows me to hook it onto a wall or, you know, something like that, uh, you know, in order to keep it up there with me. Um, also, back here in the back, there's a wrench to take off the blade. It's uh, pretty simple. Now, I can run... On this uh, 8 amp hour battery, I can run almost all day um, with this saw. But let me show you how it works. Okay, so let me show you why I like worm drives. Let's get these saws out of here real quick. Okay. So if you look at this normal um, type skill saw, if you look at it, in order to see the blade cutting, where it cuts the line down there, right, I got to kind of stand up over the top of it. And so it makes me a lot less steady because I want to stand back here to cut a straight line. But if I do that, I have a hard time seeing, which is again, why I favor uh, the worm drive saw. Let me show you what I mean. So see this, because, I'm, because this saw puts my hand back here, I'm standing back farther from it. So I can watch the side of that blade um, as it cuts. You know, one of the uh, worries that a lot of people have about worm uh, battery powered saws is just the batteries. You know, how long do they last and can you cut anything? You know, anything? So let me uh, set up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you look here at this board and see, I'm just going to put a, a mark on it here. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this board. So if you look, it made a nice cut, nice and straight. So this is an absolute tool I would recommend for the homestead. Uh, I use it all the time. I can throw it back in the ranger. I can go out in the field. You know, if I'm building a you know, the bee houses or whatever it is, I can take it along with me. Battery lasts a long time. Uh, this is, uh, every day is becoming more and more of one of my absolute favorite tools. 
Again, and I've said this before in a lot of my videos, you know, I have no affiliation with Milwaukee. I don't get paid a commission. I'm not an affiliate. I don't, none of those kind of things. But uh, great saw, does great things, and would recommend it to anybody. Okay, so again, we reviewed the M18 Fuel 7 and a quarter rear handle circular saw. This is model 2830-21HD for heavy duty. Um, what's really important is the words fuel. Um, use the M18 red lithium high output batteries. Um, and you can get all the way up, I believe, to a 12 amp hour battery. But Okay, so I pulled this up on uh, Home Depot. And just the tool only is 269 bucks. Now, if you get one of the big 12 amp hour batteries, it's about the same. So, you've got about $500 in it by the time it's done. But you don't need the big 12 amp hour. You can get, you know, some of the smaller ones and just recharge them, which would obviously save a uh, whole bunch of money. But uh, I bought it and uh, really enjoyed it a lot. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, you know, it's kind of an interesting point. Why does it matter? Well, as many of you know, I live completely off grid. And so I have to really control my power usage. So if the sun's not shining bright, you know, I'm not going to spend, you know, a whole lot of time with a corded saw, um, you know, draining my batteries down and doing those kind of things. So with the battery powered saw, it allows me to, you know, charge the batteries, store up batteries so that, uh, you know, like a day like today, it's raining outside. So I'm outside working. I can work indoors, work all day long. Don't have to deplete my uh, power reserves that we use, you know, just to live uh, everyday life. So for me, it, it matters. Um, for you, it may or may not. But, uh, you know, I would absolutely, again, as I said earlier, recommend the tool. You know, again, I always say, you know, go try to live a little bit freer today than you did yesterday. Hold the line. Don't give an inch. Tag out.